In summary, a newborn who is persistently crying or nursing or lethargic is hungry and is in danger of serious complications if not adequately fed. Exclusively breastfed newborns need closer monitoring of glucose, bilirubin, electrolyte, and weights. Newborns can be supplemented to prevent complications without compromising long-term breastfeeding success. No benefit of exclusive breastfeeding justifies the risk of starvation-related brain injury. We cannot continue to ignore the harms that aggressive, exclusive <coughs> breastfeeding promotion causes. If we fail to safely feed an infant in the pursuit of exclusive breastfeeding, we can permanently take away their future potential. We can take away their ability to pass fourth grade math, their ability to go to college, their ability, ability to hear, to see, to speak, to think, to walk, or to live an independent life. Starvation-related brain injury is a mistake that can never be reversed. The only way to protect all newborns is to give all, the mo all mothers the whole truth, the real risks and benefits of their feeding choices, and how to recognize and prevent unacceptable and irreversible outcomes. As parents and health professionals, we have a responsibility to protect every newborn from starvation to help ensure that they thrive, thrive, grow, and reach their full potential. We achieve this by supporting every mother to protect her child with safe and sufficient feeding. I leave you with a quote from Fed's best supporter, Dr. Vinod Bhutani, the lead author of the AP Newborn Jaundice Guidelines. This slideshow will be available on fedisbest.org and their cards all over the place, but please feel free to take a stack of cards if you wish to give them to parents or patients, friends, whoever you want. Thank you. Are there any questions or just or thoughts? <laughs>